All right, it's 924. Do you have a smartphone? How many apps do you have? I'm sure you heard about people making all kinds of money on an app that they've invented, but could you do that? Have you ever wondered? Well, surprisingly, it may not be as hard as you think. Software architect Larry Cummins joins us now from Larry.org. Good morning to you. Good morning, Yetta. How are you? you? I'm doing good. You got big ideas right behind you. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, first question out the gates is, you know, you have an idea. What is the very, very first thing you do if you want to create an app from your idea? Well, the biggest thing you need to do is make sure that you make the idea uh, really interesting mm -hmm. and simple. Um, so uh, the, the thing with apps is uh, they, they, people use them very quickly, and they use them usually to enrich their lives or to connect themselves to other people. So they want something that's, you know, like, wow, I didn't know you could do that. Or, or you know, so you got to find that wow element yeah. uh, when you first come up with your idea. Okay, so let's say I got the wow idea. Who do I go to? Where do I start? Uh, well, really, the first thing you need to do is uh, start talking to people that, uh, you know, actually uh, do the development of the application. So okay. uh, I work with a lot of different uh, local uh, software developers that are good with uh, smartphone applications mm -hmm. and, and, and kind of get them on board with the idea so you can figure out how much it costs to build it. Yeah, I got you. And then, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. And then once you have that figured out, then you can start, you know, figuring out, okay, well, you know, if it's going to take me that much to build it, then, you know, like, how much do I charge for it? Do I give it away for free? Mm -hmm. You know, what's my cost, you know, like, uh, to, to, to profit, you know, to get it up like and really. running. Uh, yeah. I'm wondering, you know, do you have to be extremely careful on who you talk to? How do you protect your idea? I mean, you could talk to somebody and they can go, well, I don't know if that's a great idea. And the next thing you know, it pops up in the app store. Absolutely. Well, well, one of the challenges with app development is there's probably already an app like that, if mm -hmm. not for that. Uh, so you have to really kind of be uh, uh, enthusiastic and passionate about your idea. Right. Um, uh, you'll talk to ten people, and nine and a half of them will tell you, "Oh, you know, that's interesting, but I'm not really into it." Mm -hmm. You know. Um, so you have to you have to keep uh, that that entrepreneurial perseverance for yeah. your for your app. If, yeah. So you kind of have to sell it to the person that's going to help you develop it. That sounds like. There's a lot of selling. Yeah, involved. ideally. Yeah. yeah. Um, One of the things you really want is to uh, attract somebody that's got the ability to build the app to sort of the business model. Okay. You know, because okay. if you do that, then the costs are reduced significantly. Yeah. So. Speaking of costs, I mean, just your general app. I know they all are different prices, but about ballpark, how much does it cost to create an app from start to finish, get it up and running, where people can download it and purchase? Sure. Well, I, what I generally tell people when they come to me with an app is. You really can't, because the design is so important, getting the simplicity, you know, like so laser focused, you generally want to figure about twenty to fifty thousand oh, dollars. Now, a lot of that can be offset with equity, you know, like, you know, getting people on board mm -hmm. is, uh, is really important. So, uh, so it's not necessarily you have to go raise twenty or fifty thousand. But you should be budgeting as if you were spending, you know, that much money out of your own pocket. My one last question: There's a lot of free apps in the app store. Do you make money when you when your app is free? I always wondered that. When you see those free apps, how does the inventor make money on a free app? That's a very common question, actually. Uh, there's really two models. Uh, one is that uh, you you essentially make money back from advertising. Uh, you don't really make a lot of money unless your app does really well on advertising, though. Mm -hmm. The other is is that your app is part of a larger strategy mm -hmm. that makes money when you have more people interacting with your brand. Yeah. And that's a lot more common. Yeah. Sounds like you just got to have a lot of dough to get this thing started. Larry Cummings, thank you so much. Larry.org, sure. that's how we find you? That's, that's right. And you can help people do this if they have ideas? Absolutely. All right. Thank you very much for joining us, and good morning, Arizona.